The Prime Minister says he wants to stop or consider stopping the annual ritual of going to Waitangi and take the celebrations on the road to other parts of the country. On Monday, Bill English will attend Waitangi Day celebrations, not in Waitangi, but in Auckland. He decided to snub Waitangi after being told by the Te Tim Marae Committee that he would not be able to speak during the porphyry. He could speak after it. However, he was in Waitangi today to meet with influential iwi leaders. Te Manu Kōrehi reporter Shannon Haunui Thompson joins us from Waitangi. Shannon, it's a bit of a dodgy old live view cross to you up there. So uh, I'll ask you uh, questions and, and, th and then just let you talk, basically. What did the Prime Minister and the iwi leaders discuss? Well, the, ma the main ag uh, agenda point today was the the change in the child, youth and families legislation and the shift away, the possible shift away from uh, putting uh, Māori children with their whānau hapu or iwi. Obviously the iwi leaders are opposed to that and they had they said they had great discussions with the uh, Prime Minister today to tell them that you know they really think Māori children should be should be should remain within their cultural context. They also spoke about water, fresh water. I mean fresh water has been on the table for quite a while. Um, in the press conference they kind of said that they told uh, Bill English that they wanted to keep have the, or the iwi leaders want the same rights as a corporate bottling company does. Um, not that they really want to bottle the water, however they, they would like the rights to if they wanted to. Also they um, said that you know it's about fresh water is about maining, maintaining the mana o te wai. Um, I also heard earlier the guys discussing that the iwi leaders uh, talked about how um, Bill English made the announcement that he's thinking about uh, moving the annual ritual of coming up here to Waitangi, taking it on the road. I mean, they said, you know, Waitangi is really significant to Māori and whether the Prime Minister comes or comes or not, the celebrations, commemorations will continue with or without him, which we're actually seeing happen this time this year. I mean, he's not coming here to Waitangi this year. Um, the Deputy Prime Minister, Paula Bennett, will be here to represent the party, but he's decided to go on the road anyway. So the celebrations are still continuing without him. Shannon, it is the most beautiful and evening up there. Gosh, what a glorious background you're standing in front of. Um, can we, can you monitor the reaction uh, from Napui and, and the iwi leaders who were there today to the idea that the Prime Minister might take uh, a sort of Waitangi road show around New Zealand? What did the iwi leaders think of that? Well, the iwi leaders said, you know, said that Waitangi is a very significant place and really the Prime Minister should be coming here. However, if he does decide not to come here, the, the celebrations and right. significance will still remain. Yeah. Um, I spoke to um, Peter Peralne before I, I spoke to you and he's obviously from the New Zealand First Party but also the current chair of the National uh, Waitangi Trust and he is he's really annoyed at the Te Marae Committee who say basically it's their fault that Ngāpuhi have lost the only chance they get to have have the Prime Minister's ear as such. So he is really annoyed. He blames the um, committee at the Te Te Marae fully for what's happened and for the um, Prime Minister actually considering leaving here. Because I mean, it's not just that the Prime Minister comes to Te Te Marae, he usually also hosts a breakfast with all the major Ngāpuhi leaders here after the dawn service, which isn't happening this year. So this year, um, uh, Bill English will be having that breakfast with Ngāti Whātua or Rākei. Thanks, Shannon. We're losing you a little bit there, but it does look uh, glorious. I hope you have a wonderful weekend up at Waitangi. Shannon Honui Thompson crossing to us live from a slightly ropey, although rather glorious, live view shot. We should say that the Governor General, Dame Patsy Reddy, will be welcomed onto Te Te Marae tomorrow. And on Sunday, all political parties, including the Deputy Prime Minister, Paul Bennett, Paula Bennett, will also be welcomed onto the Marae. We should also point out that Ngāpui say that they've lost their one chance a year to speak to the Prime Minister. It does seem extraordinary, really, as a uh, as a, an aside that Napu, which is New Zealand's largest iwi by number, I think 120,000 people describe themselves as affiliated uh, to Napu. We get one chance a year to talk to the Prime Minister. We will discuss that at greater length on another occasion.